This is polyethylene terephthalate glycol, more commonly known as PETG or PETG for short. And this is methyl ether ketone. PETG is by far one of my favorite thermoplastics to work with when it comes to 3D printing. That being said, anytime there's a clog or cleanup involved, it's particularly difficult to get rid of. Not every solvent is going to dissolve this stuff, but this should do the trick. I haven't ever seen a video of anyone doing it though. So today, we're gonna put some PETG in this glass mason jar, and then we're gonna fill it up with some MEK and see if it dissolves. Now I have to stress two very important parts. First off, this is real MEK. There's a lot of mech substitutes out there. This is actual mech. And two, this stuff is quite dangerous. You should only ever use it in a well-ventilated area and you really gotta be careful when using it. To put it quite simply, this stuff is dangerous. So don't go messing with it. And if you live in some countries outside of the United States, there is even a chance that you won't even be able to acquire mech as a consumer. So today, I'm going to be doing the science for you. We got ourselves a glass mason jar with a label as to the chemical we're using and the type of thermoplastic we are trying to dissolve. We've got a bunch of strands of it in this glass container and this will be completely sealed but we do need to put some of the chemical in it all right here we go we do not need a whole lot to cover the entire surface of what we're working with so we're going to close everything back up to prevent the fumes from getting everywhere. I'm going to close up this bottle, put it off to the side, and now focus solely on the process, to which we will be starting a time lapse right now. So it's been a little over 12 hours since we started that time lapse, and this is the result. So let's take a closer look. We'll zoom in onto this jar, and we'll move it to a spot where we can more clearly see what is going on. And as you can see, not a whole lot, to be honest. Uh, the pet G sticks have more or less clumped together like as if they were glued together uh, but for the most part they are more or less completely intact there's no noticeable uh, depreciation in their size they do not appear to have dissolved in any real significant manner so if you are planning on using this as a means to dissolve pet G out of a hot end clog Unfortunately, MEK does not look like it's going to do that for you, which is a real bummer, because that's what I want it to do. I can shake this, and the clump remains clumpified. Now, it has only been 12 hours, but if you're trying to get back up and running with your 3D prints, uh, this is going to take a long time. But in the interest of science, we're going to keep this concoction together and every week I'm going to be doing an update in the YouTube Communities tab with some pictures and I'll let you know what goes on and if anything significant has actually happened 
We'll make a video about it, but until then, MEK is not the way to go about clearing a clog if you're using PETG.